Revelation. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And prevailed not. Neither was there place found any more in heaven. I like to give all prayers, honor and glory to Yahabashimel, Shabbat, Shemar Kakudash. The water Yahabashimel, Shabbat, the best apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve the honors rightfully so. Shalom to the Akim, pushing the word of sincerity and truth from being faith based and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID, triples the mark of the beast. 200 million missile sickness slaves of America. Psalm 10 to the chairs of the Lord, live a hopeful life into the chambers. Psalm 10 to the chairs of the Lord, shooting laser beams with ungodly in the heathens, rightfully so. Hey, I'll rock this out, Lord, take the course of this video. Make it edifying, put your faith up, just a vessel seeking salvation. Out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, and Babylon, everything that was mixed in this crop pot, crap pot, scum. And, um, yeah, um, you know, uh, I've been meditating on this. Um, this chapter, like, just thinking about a lot, just, it came to my mind, and this is like, it got stuck for the last, maybe three days. <coughs> <coughs> just thinking about this, and, um, I brought this out, um, this great, um, um, the great angel, um, of Yahweh al Michael, you know, um, he, uh, get me out of here with the, with his, you know, with the team he's going to be bringing back, you know, because he's going to be leading the charge. You know, Yahweh Shah is going to be there. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, he's going to be the head. But, um, the, um, the Archangel Michael, he's going to be, uh, going to be doing this thing too. Because he's going to be, it tells you in Daniels that he's going to, um, what has just been, that's another verse that's been stuck in my head. He's going to, um, He's gonna um he's gonna fight against this dragon. The dragon is Esau. Right? That devil. That old serpent. He's been around for quite a while too. And um it's gonna be epic, man. Cause a lot of stuff is happening. I mean Um I brought this eye, you know, the Lord, you know, he preserved me. You know, with the with with the um the one third. You know, so I've been meditating on that. Been praying for that. You know, the Passover's coming up. And the scriptures are speaking, all right. I I yeah, what happened was, you know, I was working and you know they started it was like having this conversation, they want me to hear it, so I can't you know, sometimes I just don't talk. But um I had to say something about this one. I just said I just said, um <clears throat> If you're a spiritual person, you already know who wins the war. <laughs> so they get all stupefied. They, they think, <clears throat> oh, America, Russia, China. But nah, it's a how about you know, wins the war. You know? You know, if you're a hopeful elect, if you're a hopeful elect, you're a part of the win. You're going to be joining heirs. <clears throat> Cause um, there's no way in how all this stuff is happening. It's a coincidence for all these things that's happening. Cause they they really they they are really they you know the the elites know who wins too, and that's why they what do you think they um uh they got them um what how that verse go? Take this game off chapter nine. You know. It's um <clears throat> why did he did this? Oh, it's another verse too. Let's try to think of where that one is at. Um, 
Hold on. Let me see something. Uh, Amos chapter 9, verse 2. It's a lot, and this just, this just jumped in my head, too. Though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up, up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And that's what that's that the, the, that hand of um that he's talking about is um is um his um the, um how you say the elect you know the superheroes is gonna be going we're gonna be digging these Edomites out they're gonna go down there and we're gonna get them out of here okay they're gonna go up we're gonna bring we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna um we're gonna laser beam the door <laughs> see we'll be back for you. <clears throat> You know, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna go back and fix things. They're gonna they're gonna be the ones that clean up the earth, man. The high ups, these new regular peons. You know, which it makes logical sense that what the scripture says. You know, I was going over a few things, and um, um, I was watching a few videos. <clears throat> it's narrowing itself down, and I remember when I was a young man. All right, when I was young, you know, when I was under my mother, I remember my mother saying, said, so God destroyed the earth with water. No, God drowned the earth with water. But man is going to destroy it with fire. That's what she, I always stuck in my head. You know, ever since she said that to me, it always stuck in my head. Like, I truly believe that was like a message towards me because nobody else, like my brother, my, my brother, my sister, they just act like nothing. They just like, they're like freelancing and they bring it, man. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's the spirit. You know, yeah, I bust your mouth shot. He reveals it. The prop, he reveals the prophecies. The prophets speak. Prophecies speak through the prophets. And, um, I truly believe the man of the Lord is, um, it's a great millstone. The prophecy is speaking to the prophets, and um, and I got it. And I'm, and I'm 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 proclaiming the same thing. I'm carrying the baton. I'm climbing in this light. <clears throat> I'm lighting the lighthouse. Uh, this is what I true. This is this is truly it's truly faith in this. You know, and I say it every day. You know, you gotta prepare your mind. Saying, you know, this is it. This, this is what we're looking for. This is what it is. And every time you, you, you it's like praying Yahweh Shem Yahweh to why Yahweh Shem Yahweh for all this information. Because I don't pay it. You know, you know, you might listen to a bit of music and whatever, but that ain't the all. That's not it. You know, you got the the celebrities is not even looking back. I mean, the, the celebrities is looking back, man. They looking back, man. They out there just doing all this other madness, and it's not, it's not, um, it's not, um. Adding up no more. You know, you listen to me. Oh, oh yeah, this nice music. I mean, that's just garbage. Rubbish, man. I truly believe they're helping push the cause of Ashashu. Like Puffy and them and all that. Like all this shit, 50 Cent, Jay Z and all of them. You know, they behind the scenes, they, they all sit down. They probably don't like each other, but the agenda, you know, for all the things they did in the industry, it just, um, they can't let that out. But <clears throat> the truth, um, the truth is, um, is growing. They try to keep covering it up, but the truth is growing. You know, prophecy is, is, is the righteous, the, um, the truth and righteousness, and um, it's being watered. No, the prophecy is being watered by the truth and righteousness. The prophecy is, is growing, man. Or however you want to put that. You know, truth is being um, watered by prophecies, by the prophets, and it's growing. Righteousness is growing. Truth is growing. You know? This is powerful stuff, man. All right? So they think, because they, they digging all these holes, they underground bunkers. Oh, we're gonna go down here with our family. We're gonna be safe. Nah, they ain't. You ain't gonna be able to hide from y'all. Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's a lot here. Give me one second. Yeah, it's a lot, yeah.
That's a lot. Now the first just jumped in my head. I want to see if I can find this one. So first, um, one second. Hey, so I want. <clears throat> all right, so I, this verse just jumped in my head with that. Um, because simultaneously, all these things, a lot of things are going to occur simultaneously. You know, mainly um, the chair of the Lord when those missiles are dropping. And everybody's gonna be scattered, and they, and, and um, the elites are gonna be hiding in their bunkers. It's gonna be, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of things happening. And it's gonna be, and this is the movie, baby. This is the one, man. This is the life. This is the life. This is the thing to be a part of, to preserve your life, for your, because the Hamas Shmuel shot. He's gonna those. they were the predestinated ones already predestinated. But uh, uh this book, there just jumped in my head, and um. Why y'all watch your mouth? Alright, it says, um, it says Revelation chapter 6, verse 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll when they roll when they rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of its, their places. And that's the missile dropping. And the kings of the earth, right? they're gonna be trying, they're gonna be scattering, man. <laughs> they're gonna be scattering. And the kings of the earth and the great men and and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens in the rocks. Of the mountains, they're gonna be they're gonna be trying to hide from the, these these nuclear missiles. You know, and chariots are gonna be shooting laser beams, man. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening, man. You know, and like I said, the one that wins this war, y'all, by Shemuel man, and the and the the um the elect. That's gonna be the the um the one third is gonna be what they're gonna have that victory too, with the lamb. Cause the lamb is gonna prevail, man. But they're not going to prevail. And and as and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And I told you they, they running from Yahweh the whole land. They come. They know. They already know now, man. And from the wrath of the Lamb. For that great day, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? No one. You understand? We already know who wins this war. Prophecy speaks, man, through the prophets. It's dynamic, man. So, it's a lot of that, is it? you know, that jumped in my head. And um, let's go back to the, um, um, who's the dragon, right? We know the dragon. Esau's the dragon. Yeah. You know? People gonna be all joining forces with Esau, thinking they're gonna get out of this. Oh, cause you already you you messed up. You know, why do they rage? Because they want to be on top of us, man. That's the whole shit. Yeah, this is on a small, on a small night new, my my new thing, man. Like your regular life, man. And you still want to be on top of you, man. If they can't have it, they just gonna go lay in the street. I'm telling you, that's how you. Don't they better be bums than than to see you have anything. Their spirit, it just it just feel like that. When I get around these Edomites, man, they just lay in the streets, man. When I'm at them, shit, they don't want to be. They don't want to be going to work with you, nothing. I'm telling you, man. All right, which is very spiritual because I, <clears throat> I looked up the um, I went I went over, I went over the breakdown of Revelation chapter 
chapter 12 and I was like wow and um I'm in the blue letter it says the angel Michael alright so Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 and there was war in heaven Michael and his angel fought against the dragon the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven <coughs> you see that any more in heaven they, they got no place no more so no more Ashashua They're not build, rebuilding this again again. It's not happening. Rightfully so, man. This shit's crazy, man. You're just gonna go, um, you know. You're just gonna go build up um, all these, uh, you know, you're just gonna go burn down all these other places, man, that, that, um, how you say that, that that um that make food food processing places and all that, but the spirit of Hashemel shot got in your mind to cause havoc, man. So so all this hey, you yeah. hey you know what I was another thing that said um the guy going he said he said much I said oh you kind of delusional if you think Russia is good, bro they not doing what the hell these fucking people are doing over here, man. And then you say, yeah, yeah, we are, we are, we are, um, um, evil, something to the effect like that, demons or something, something he said. And he agreed. <clears throat> Alright, so, they fucking evil, they evil, man. You feel it? Ashansa was evil, bro. The pastiness on them make them more evil, bro. They really think they're like some pure people or something. It's a I feel a little better from um uh just damn madness I had coming out of stuff coming out of me now. Uh, boy. Alright, so time is um eleven eight eleven eighteen PM um March first, twenty twenty three, the hopeful year of all prophecy come to pass. It, it is about prophecy, man. And the one that that's that's um pushing the prophecies is the men of the Lord. All right, and they're sticking to it. They're sticking to the protocol of the book, the doctrine. Hold on for a second. Do I have a smell shot for this, bro? Like, it really is a spiritual thing. And if if you heard the prophets, like you passed the prophets on 34th Street, <coughs> you heard you heard the word. It already got planted in your mind. It's for you, your demise, or for your salvation. All right? So, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. And a great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived <coughs> which, <coughs> which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And the angels and his angels were were cast out with him. And his angels is his angels the military, man. And I've been saying that for quite a while. And it, it, what proved that? Think about this. Twenty nineteen, when Trump was saying, Oh, we're gonna send the military to your door if you don't take the blown nightingale juice. Alright? And the whole world is going to be deceived. The oinkerman, he sense. Been deceived. The oinkerman, when you go into this word, this, um, chat, this verse right here, let's see something real fast. I'm going to um, see what it says in, um, in um, NNT.
It says that um um uh, Revelation chapter so lucky, chapter nine chapter twelve verse nine in the NLT translation that great dragon that ancient serpent that ancient serpent goes way back to the garden man called the devil or Satan the one the one deceiving the whole world was thrown down to the earth with all his angels. So it's gonna be, that's the military, man. That's another verse I'm trying to think of right now. Oh, Jesus, another one. All right, so, we already know who is the war. Because the prophecy speaks to the prophets. And they are sounding the alarm, they are proclaiming and ushering in the king. Okay? It's happening, man. There's another verse. Um, how the word goes. Hold on for a second. Hey, it's a lot of this jumped in my mind. I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at um this is second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse six. And I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew and flew upon it. That's your house shot, man. He's the one that's going to win the war, man. And he's going to send his um, angels back. And Michael's going to leap charge for him. And they're going to be zapping and, and running down and scooping up at the, all at the same time. This is going to be dropping all types of fire, all types of death. It's going to be going down, man. It's going to go down. This is just epic, man. But I would have seen the um the region the the slop how you say this just a regular <coughs> slop <coughs> slop I'm trying to pronounce this word hmm because it's happening man. And it's a beautiful time to be a uh, part of this, man. Uh, right. It's a regular word, man, but I have bad pronunciations of salaki. I know, I know it was region. Just couldn't say it. It's locked man. But I, I was reading Second Ezra chapter, um, chapter thirteen, verse seven. But I would have seen the region or place where with where where out the hill was graved. It didn't come out of earth, man. I could not, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him. And this is during World War III. He's going to pop out the heavens, man. And you're going you're gonna to see him. They're going to be fighting each other. Because this is what happened. Though. I have a different conversation with a lot of different people. And I was having this one conversation with this one individual, which is a really um, down-to-earth guy. <clears throat> He's of age. And I tried to explain it, I said, you know, uh, you know, I, I think I, it just seemed like I just tell him the message. <laughs> like, something's telling me, they don't know. So he's, I know he get, you know when somebody's like, oh man, but they're so adamant on this American way that it's hard for him to let go of his old ways. You can't put new water, new wine, new bottles. No, yeah, in old bottles. So he's like, oh, I don't want to change my ways. <clears throat> but he, I told you, you're going to be around. He's a healthy, he's not a, you know, you know, the Lord can take you anytime you want. But I truly believe the Lord is preserving him to see his, to see how much he wants his glory. And he's going to think of, the, the, everybody we told, okay, that these things are going to happen, they're going to think of you. 
They're not gonna think of their situation. They're gonna say, "Damn, I should listen to that guy." So, it's 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 inevitable, and the Lord is gonna, He's not gonna forget your label. He's not gonna forget your label. The Scripture speaks about these things, man. He's not gonna forget your label. The label of love, man. But I would have seen the region or place where where out the hill was graved and could not and I could not and after that I mean and after this I beheld and lo all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid and yet does fight see they're gonna be they're gonna be the, the, this this thing the Lord is gonna make them fight us our team man it's gonna be dope man it's gonna be dope man Look, look, Yahweh Hashem Hashem made everything happen. It's just the point of um, uh, us spiritually understanding this. The world don't understand. Oh, why the why God love everybody? Why if he he just love everybody? Nah, he don't love everybody. People, he love a specific people. Everybody is made to serve that specific people he love. You don't like that? We went into the people, the specific people he loved. He put, he put, he let other, he let the ones that's supposed to serve us put their hands on us. Okay. And lo, as, and lo, and lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude, as he saw the violence of the, this is World War Three, that came, he neither lift. Lift up his hand, nor his sword, nor any instrument of war. He ain't, uh, he ain't got to lift up nothing. He shot laser beams at these people, bro. They turned to the powder, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as he had been out of his mouth as it has been a blast of fire. <coughs> 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 and out of his lips a flaming burst flaming breath <coughs> and out of his tongue he cast out sparks of tempest man this is a tongue this this the one man Yahweh Sha is the one Yahweh Sha Yahweh sent back Yahweh Sha with his angels and Mike is gonna lead the charge for him. They're gonna make it happen. This thing's gonna be happening, man. Because the the, 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 the script I just read the scripture just said it, man. Prophecy speaks to the prophets, and they say who uh, the scripture stay. They say does what say the Lord of the script. Y'all watch me out shout the scriptures. Who wins the war? We already know who wins the war, man. This is the dynamic part. This is real favor, man. This is showing true favor from Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. Some true favor, bro. Whatever you're going through right now, man, this is what you're supposed to go, go through until you get your, um, until the Lord gets you up out of here, man. True favor, bro. You know, I, I said I went to sleep. And I, you know, I was, you know, got off work, went to sleep. You know, burnt out. You know, and then, you know, woke up. But think about this, this, this. I brought this out, this is clear and that's fine. It builds your faith up, man. True favor, man. Hope y'all watch him out shot, man. Oh, boy, man. All that stuff, whatever happened to all the history we went through, man, it's for higher learning. It's for today, man. It's for to, it's for it's for this end, for the time, for this end. The end time, man. Daniel chapter 12, man. Be written in that book, man. The water y'all watch me outside, man. Which makes logical sense that we broke the law. Um, I forgot how that went. It was something. But we didn't blaspheme the spirit. Alright? We broke the law, but we didn't blaspheme the spirit, man. You know, we didn't we didn't we we we, we that's how you know this is true favor, man. Even a two third when they come back, they're gonna be little regular um baby. They're gonna be they're gonna you're gonna have royalty. They're gonna be royal. They, they, we got royal blood. We're gonna come back. They're gonna come back as our children, and we're gonna take care of them. We're gonna, we're gonna fly over um this um desert, great big desert. We're gonna say, look, that's what the people be fucking up all the time. 
That had they had us in there, man. Oh, you can't believe it. Oh, you know they're gonna, gonna be our children, man. This is what we're looking forward to, man. You know, look before our king get back, man. Okay. <clears throat> so we're ready. The scripture speaks about who. That's why it's just freaking crazy, man. We did all this to get this, man. This is why we learned in ultimate. All these years that we've been going through this, we have learned. It's been in our spirit. It's been every time we came back. That's what the thing called deja vu. <coughs> that thing called deja vu. Oh, maybe you start memorizing, remembering, remembering things. Or oh, seeing like old snippets. Or oh, having certain dreams about certain ways you was, um, you know, things you was going through before. Like you may feel like, oh, I remember this deja vu. That happens a lot to me. You know? Like, I'll meet somebody, I feel like I knew them before, not, I, I never knew them in this life, but I feel like I knew them before. And sometimes they could be good people, or they could be a lot of bad people, man, and they and they have to feel it, have to feel like the tension, like something a lot of people I meet. It'd be like deja vu, man. And, you know, I'm always one eat my man, if fuck, I knew him for like, like, we could do wars together, like, Enemies, super duper enemies, man. Like, uh, like we couldn't even like couldn't even stand in each other's presence. Like, he did something to me, man. That's what it felt like, bro. A few lot of people like it's just I don't know. I got this new eater man, my fucking. He just came around, boy. He started. It's fucking. Cra I don't know what the hell they see when they see me, man. But if I brought this out, I'm one of those great men. When I get back. Of my high eighties, my high haters of my eight years after you know, after we win the war after the war is over and we ain't peace, I did peace and tranquility. I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna explore all the righteous things that how much me out shot made, man. That's what I wanna do. I just wanna go see all the galaxies to see the beauty of Yahweh Shim Al Shah. And I, it's another thing that, that when I remember like um vividly, if I said that right, that um um, I remember being out of space. I remember looking down at the earth when I was a young man, and I was always telling my family, "We we out, we we, we being out of space, man." They was always they was always think I was like, like I was young. I was a little boy, and I was always talking about out of space, you know, like you know aliens and stuff like that. And I love out of space, man. I always loved the stars, man. I'm gonna go walk around. I don't, I don't know how. Whatever, whatever the love. I brought this on one of those men. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hang out. You know, walk around. You know, in the kingdom. We're gonna be walking around. We gotta be able to do ultimate things, man. We can't do ultimate things now, man. This is what they trying to do, bro. They trying to do ultimate things, man. They walk underwater. They trying to breathe. They want. They want to live everlasting lives. That's our stuff, man. We we left the first estate. You know, we left the first estate. So Salak, I didn't ramble a little bit. But um yeah man, and um go back to this real fast. Just uh well, I got to <coughs> <coughs> So <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so um We already know who wins the war. Alright, the scripture speaks about it. Prophecy speaks through the prophets, and they, the prophets tell you who's going, what, what's going to happen. All through the book. So Salaki, uh, it says, um, I'm going to read this again, and then they're going to end it from here. Um, Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven, <clears throat> and Michael and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angel and prevailed not. Neither there was neither neither was there a place found any more in heaven. And the and that and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan. That old serpent is Esau, who which deceiveth 
the whole world. That Archimedes says the planet. He was cast out into the earth. And, the, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength. This is the time, man. This is coming, man. This is it. This is, this is the future. It's the future right here, man. And strength and kingdom. Of our power, our Yahusha. And the power of of, of Yahweh, our power, and the power of his Hamashiach. For 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 the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuse them before our power day and night. And they do, man. They always talking that hella crap, man. They always talking hella crap to our father and the king, man. And they they know they already know. They laugh in heaven, man. It tells you that why did he just raise that? Ah, we want the chicken too, but you want pork too and shrimps and shit. You don't just want you just don't want the chicken. You want the pork? Well, we want, can we sneak a little chicken, a little pork in it, <clears throat> a little shrimps? No, you see, you want you want your cake and eat it too. You got to go. <clears throat> Verse eleven, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. That's what we're doing. This is testifying. I told you prophecy speaks to the prophet. And they love not their lives unto death. So it's, it's like, um, how can you go around this? So, you know, I just um kind of went kind of long on this. But um <clears throat> yeah man, we about to we about to have everything, bro. So, the Wadi Abashimi Al Shah for this moment. For all this, for all this greatness, man. That he, this is, you know, we can't even breathe good air, man. They really fucked our earth up, man. So, I brought this out that was clear, you know. That was just, I, it, since I got through it, it made, I brought this out it was, it was accurate. You know, just through the spirit. It was edifying. Build your faith up, man. You know, so. With that, all praise and honor and glory to go to Yabba Shemel Shah. Ba'ashim Kakodash. To go to Yabba Shemel Shah. Forgive us, apostles. That was a pretty millstone. Shout out to the Akiya. Shout out to the